This is our Forex blog for June 23rd, 2014, and I like to do at least two or three Forex blogs each week. I've been focused on our Forex trading systems and trading signals. Uh, I'll show you, show you that how those did today first. Uh, we have a, a sell signal in the euro dollar that worked, the buy and the sell, which, you know, two nice sized wins and a probably a five or six pip win. And this is for both people who want to use our tools and also, uh, you know, just trade the signals. So there was basically no trade today except for this sell here. Uh, and then there was a, a buy here which had a very tiny loss. I'm trying to make the signals extremely, um, oops, uh, I meant to put the uh, euro dollar on. Well, I'll go ahead and show this one. The pound yen and the euro yen are the hardest ones. Uh, we had a small loss here, decent size win, loss. Uh, this one failed, nice win here, and we're still short, and that's probably pretty likely to continue down, at least to, in the future, you know, lead to a break even. And here's the euro yen, which uh, did pretty well today. We got short right here, nice size win. Short here, nice win, nailed the low, made 20 pips on the way up, made about 10 pips here, and it's still long. Uh, and we're in the trade, and we're up um, probably 14, 15 pips so far. Now, for those of you um, who also want to trade manually, in addition to our signals, these are our currency indexes, which let you see visually what each individual currency is doing. You can see the dollars falling. The euro is falling, the pound is falling, and the yen was weak until about three, and then it went from underneath above its hourly. Um, let's take a look at some of the other currencies. The Australian is strong, the New Zealand is strong, and the CAD is strong. So these are currencies that you can trade against uh, the ones that are weak, such as uh, the euro. The euro CAD, weak euro, strong CAD. This one's very likely to go up. If you want to focus on uh, buying pullbacks. So let's say you got into a trade here, that one went up. Let's say you might have got into a trade right here and you had a loss. Got into a trade here uh, that, that that pulled up. Let's take a look at uh, the Euro, Australian, and New Zealand. Oh, actually, uh, I was wrong about the other one. We want to look for sales in this, that's why. Uh, I was not thinking for a second. Uh, weak Euro, strong CAD, we're looking for sales. So. You actually, you know, have this nice little drop, and you can see later in the day, uh, the CAD went underneath its hourly, and probably the euro uh, reversed to the upside. Let's take a look at the euro Australian. Again, we're looking for sales. It went down. Uh, euro New Zealand also went down. And let's take a look at what time uh, the euro started showing uh, signs of strength. About seven o'clock, it went sideways. Didn't go down anymore. Took a shot up. And what's interesting is, even though the majority of traders in the world don't have these indexes, uh, you can see uh, frequently markets will pull back to the 50 or 62% retracement. So nice big move up, pull back, found support. Very high probability place to look for a pullback uh, around 10. Which currency is likely to go down at 10 o'clock? And you can trade it against uh, the euro. The New Zealand went up uh, until about 3 and kind of went sideways and then broke down at 10 and it broke underneath its hourly moving average, broke underneath the previous day's high and so 10 o'clock is a wonderful place to be looking for buys in the Euro New Zealand and guess what? Nice multi-hour rectangle pattern. It broke out about 30 minutes later and it went up 10, 20, 30 pips in a very short amount of time. And that's the key to trading, really. When you go along right here, you can put your stop right underneath the little, you know, low of the last bar or two, and you know this is how much your potential profit is. And you can also draw your fibs uh, from the low to here, and you have your fib targets up here, which are very high probability places to uh, exit your trade. And you already know ahead of time before you even get into the trade where they're at. 
you can kind of eyeball it. Most times the price doesn't go above the 1.618 without pulling back a little bit. You know, and it can pull back and then go higher. But usually on that move, that's where your your profit target is. So if you bought this breakout, this is what your potential profit is. This is what your risk is. And you can see it went above that potential profit uh, and two and a half to three times bigger than what your risk is. And that's the key to trading. So anyway, I want to just do a couple blog videos a week showing how our signals are progressing. Uh, there's almost 400 different individual patterns that are in our signals now and I'm making them tighter and tighter, higher probability and more rolls to get rid of uh, trades that do not match what the original pattern was designed to do. I take pictures of each one along with notes and anytime ones show up that uh, looks ridiculous that I would not take, I look at the original picture and add additional rolls to make sure the good ones show up and the silly ones don't. And that's why our accuracy is going through the roof.